Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, please check out all my other videos on how to heal ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease on a plant-based diet. So speaking of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's, let's do a frequently asked questions FAQ. So a lot of you guys have asked me a lot of questions and I thought I'd break down some questions for you in this video, so stay tuned. Hey guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at High Carb Health and also click on the green H so you get to see exactly what I eat and what I get up to every single day. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you get all our notifications for our recent uploads. So the first one that you guys are probably all wanting to know is how long does it take to heal ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease? And that is a, it's a tricky question because how severe your condition is, how long you've had it for, what kind of medications you've been taking, how many years you've been taking medications for, what kind of food have you been eating, all plays a massive part in how long it takes you to heal. And so does the mind. So if you are 100% focused, if you are 100% committed, and you know what your body is going to be doing, then the chances are you will heal a lot faster. You'll be giving your body the right conditions mentally and physically, you will be able to heal a lot faster. So generally, if we're talking an average, one to three months is when you will see some sort of change. A change where you might see increased energy levels, your blood, in your stool will be a lot less, the discomfort in your stomach will be a lot less, things like that you might see. So which brings me on to the next question, what are the healing symptoms or what happens to my body when I go plant-based? So yes, you might go through a period where you have increased symptoms, but that's one of the ways that the body actually tries to heal itself. And the reason why that is, is because you've got a lot of toxicity inside your body through eating bad foods, junk food, meat, dairy, and eggs. And that has to somehow come out. It can't just stay inside your body. Because let's face it, I eat plant-based foods. I eat lots of fruit. Um, I eat lots of potatoes. I eat lots of sweet potatoes. I lo eat lots of broccoli. I love that broccoli soup on the healing recipes. So you can go check that out here. And I don't have any problems anymore with my digestion because I have healed. I have gone through that phase where your body cleanses itself and it gets rid of all the toxicity. So when you are going to the bathroom, you may notice that you have a lot of crap coming out of you. <laughs> so whether it's mucus or very smelly stools, that's because your body is actually flushing out. You don't want that stuff inside of you. Let me tell you that. And of course, your microbiome is also going to be changing, so you may have lots of gas and bloating. So I get a lot of people asking me, please give me a diet plan. So we have three phases that people go through. We've got a transition phase, we have a healing phase, and we have a post-healing phase. And these phases are according to the individual person on the severity of the disease once again. So it's really hard to give you an exact plan of what you should eat. Because you're coming from different diets, you've been eating different foods, you've been doing all sorts of different things, you're coming from different jobs, you have different stress levels. So all these factors you have to consider when you are going through the healing phase. And obviously when you have someone, when you have a coach to support you through that process, that process can be a lot easier. So let's just start off with the transition diet foods. Okay, so you wanna have a nice beautiful smoothie in the morning. Okay, and for lunch and dinner, you want to have some vegetables, whether they're steamed, whether they're baked. Um, so you've got beautiful baked potatoes, you've got baked sweet potatoes, you can pour 
Or you can make yourself a, a, a gravy with uh, s blended vegetables and pour that on top of your foods. Um, you know, things like that and, de and definitely s stick to the starch based foods. So lots of pumpkin, sweet potatoes, potatoes, cassava, all the root vegetables, they're really good. Um, you can include a bit of rice and beans, maybe once or twice a week, just depending on how severe your condition is. Uh, but that's something that, to take note when you're going through the transition phase. You can check out my healing diet uh, up here in the corner. It has all you need to know when you want to go into the healing phase. And I'll be making a post-healing video soon as well, so look out for that. But post-healing, you can start to introduce new foods. However, you need to take it really slow and you also slowly need to see the symptoms stay in a really good state for around about a month or two before you start to then indulge in some other uh, whole plant foods. Another question that I get all the time is what do I do with my medicine? Now I'm not a doctor so I cannot advise you on what to do with your medicine. You should have a plan in place with your doctor if you want to come off medications. Okay, there's nothing against being on medication in a plant-based diet that might in fact help you get to a position where your symptoms stabilize and then you can start to consider coming off your medications and that's what you do with your doctor. So don't come off your medications straight away. It's not something that you want to do. You want to take it nice and slow and taper off them with your doctor's advice. Which brings me on to the next question. Can you heal yourself when you are on immunosuppressant drugs or biologics. Now again, work in coalition with the medication, with your diet, so that you get to a good place physically, and then start to consider getting rid of them with your doctor. And you certainly can do that. There's been a lot of people that have healed, so go check out all the testimonials that we have. And a lot of people have been on immunosuppressant and biologic medication. And if they can do it, you sure can as well. So some people say, you know, I went on a vegan diet and it didn't work for me. Um, well, a vegan diet is pretty broad and uh, you could be a junk food vegan. You can eat lots of high fat foods like oils and avocados. Uh, you can eat lots of rice and beans and lentils and legumes, which also are not necessarily a good thing to eat when your gut is inflamed. Okay, so... It's a plant-based diet, it's not a vegan diet. Veganism is an ethical standpoint to do the least harm possible okay, to any animal out there. And obviously not to exploit any animals. So when you go into a, a plant-based diet, not a vegan diet, when you go into a plant-based diet, you want to make sure that you're eating really well. And that's obviously what my videos show you. So if you, again, click, on, click up there on the right-hand side, you'll see the vegan healing diet plan. It's a really good plan to go on to um, if you are in a flare, if you're in a situation uh, where you are going many times to the bathroom. So those are just some of the FAQs. There's going to be a lot more videos like this to come, lots of FAQs. So if you do have any questions, please comment down below and I will do another video like this. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And remember, eat plants and lots of them.